Hello everybody and welcome. Since Blender 4.3 there's been a quite a change when it comes to grease pencil and brushes in general. They're now assets and I've noticed that there's a small problem. It's not very intuitive so I'd like to today take you through the process of actually adding your own brush. So let's go to the file new 2D animation workspace and I'm immediately going to go to my color of my surface properties here and just make that something that isn't bright white. I'm also, whilst I'm here, going to go File, Defaults, and Save Startup File, and overwrite the 2D Animation Startup File so this doesn't happen again. In front of us, we have a series of brushes down at the bottom. We can also see that menu up at the top. We can see we've got a brush selection here, and we've also got this hamburger menu, the three lines there that give us an opportunity to switch between various places. If we go to current file, there are no brushes in here. And to my knowledge, you can't create a brush from nothing. We need a brush in order to create a brush. That's really annoying. Hopefully that's something they will sort out. So let's go back to all libraries for the moment. Now we want to pick a brush here that we don't have to then go and modify a lot of options. And so the pencil brush is actually pretty a pretty good one to uh, approach from. So we're going to use that. We're going to right click and duplicate the asset. We're going to call it bubble. That's what our asset is. And under catalog down here, I'm going to pop it into brushes custom. Oh, I mistyped there. So brushes custom. There we go. Save. And now we've got a new thing at the very end, our bubble. Now you'll notice in a moment that when we go ahead and change this thumbnail, it doesn't update. And I think that's part of the problem. We're trying to write to a place in Blender. It looks like it's worked. It will work here, but then it doesn't seem to remember that. And I'll show you how to get around that in a moment as well. So first of all, let's go ahead to our tools at the very top here. We've got our brush asset. Let's go ahead and load in, edit preview image. We're gonna load in the download. If you're following along, then you'll go to your downloads folder. And if you have not extracted it yet, go ahead and extract the brushes and go into it. Now I want to be able to see what these are. Obviously they're named, but I'm gonna click the thumbnails at the top here and go to bubble icon. I'm gonna click on load preview image and nothing happens. It's really annoying, but first of all, let's sort this out. Let's go ahead and save changes to assets, close down Blender and then reopen it again. I found that closing down Blender and reopen it again is the way of making sure things are working. We can also check now that my background has changed. So we've got this custom brush here. I'm gonna make it a bit bigger. I'm gonna do one click and a little bit of a line. Now, obviously it's still the pencil underneath. We haven't actually changed anything. So let's go ahead and change something. Let's go down to our materials properties. And then when we open this up, we need a new material. Do not alter these ones here. I think they genuinely should be locked by default. There's probably a reason why not, um, but I've accidentally overwritten them and it overwrites every brush that uses that material, just like it would if you, oh, oh that's not here, spell bubbles. Um, just like if you were to overwrite a material on an object, it would overwrite them all. I'm gonna leave this as line for the moment um, under the line type, but under style, I'm gonna switch this to texture and go ahead back to that folder where you've downloaded things and we want to select the actual brush itself that we've made. So brushes, bubble. Now nothing will change just yet until we click again. So that's an interesting one. Sometimes it will update, sometimes it doesn't. Let's go ahead and erase everything for the moment and go back into our bubble brush. So that's kind of working, but not. And that's because we've got it set to line. We need it set to dot. And then when we draw, it will actually do individual bubbles. That's perfect. We think we've got everything sorted here. We've got an asterisk at the top here saying it's not saved yet. So we're going to have to do that. But notice here we're using the bubbles material on this particular brush. So we're going to go and just change a few of the properties. I'm going to take the strength up to 100 and the bubbles themselves. I'm going to pin that so it's locked and so we can't change the material accidentally. Okay, now we've done that. Let's right click down here on the bubble and save changes to the assets. So we know it's working, it's all updated. And if you were to go ahead and just open up a new 2D animation and go and grab that, it's broken. Now let's just try shutting down Blender and reopening it again. I found sometimes this actually solves the problem. Let's go to new, 2D animation, click on here, Hurrah, it's working. No extra workaround required. So the key there is to make sure between these steps that you're actually restarting Blender. I have no idea why it cannot do a live update at that point in time. 
I'm hoping the Blender Foundation will be able to sort this out in the long run. But this is how you get that brush, that custom brush working within Blender. I hope this helps someone. It was a bit frustrating for me, especially the shutting down Blender and reopening. It's taken me at least an hour to work that out. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed it. If you want to learn more about Blender, check out one of these videos here.